Are you Googlish tonight? Living but never having a home Granted we severed heads, we facing this shit alone Space invaded, now space is all that we know We born stars and yet and still space is the great unknown <laughs> He is I and I is him Yet I'm eyeing him because of genes is what we keep the iron in So I keep teeth touching teeth Cause I talk trash, he dump a laying in the street And it ain't supposed to be beef Cause a light skinned nigga said to turn the other cheek Fuck that, it's war I swear that you declare Cause the whole world hate my head <laughs> and them punks hate when I'm there So they keep me far, I'm back on my square With the killers and the dealers and the G's and the thugs I should've just sold drugs Is we in hell here? Hey, can I get a hell here? Generous? You got a problem, I'm supposed to give a shit? You holding a sign, we'll work for food, well that shit works for food. Hubies, 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 Hubies. Hey. It's been a while, huh? No? It has. But I'm back, I'm back. Back to it. And I feel like I'm back to it. God, shit. Look. I'm going to keep a G with you. All of this extra shit going on in the world right now, it just threw my whole movement, man. A lot of things started going on in life, a lot of work-related things. We already know I was having problems with that. All right. And um, this just made more problems. You understand me? And um, that's what life is right now. A bunch of fucking problems. Okay. That's how I feel. That's what I know. And I, and, I, and, I, and I fucking firmly believe that that is the truth. Okay, so I took a little podcast hiatus. I was stressing out. High stress. You understand what I'm saying? And that's, and that's just what it was. You know, but that's, but that's fine. But that's fine. Okay, because we deal with it and we move on and we get right the fuck back to the podcast. And, and, and life has just been on fucking fire. So you know what? I'm coming in hot, baby. Coming in fucking hot. You understand what I'm saying? And and just to start it off, to let you understand how hot this shit's been, and just and just know this is not me being fucking cute. You know what I mean? I fully understand that the things that happen on the planet don't solely happen to me, with me, or to and with me the most, or the hardest, or whatever the fuck. Like, I'm not crying over the shits. You know what I'm saying? Even if I should be. And uh, with that, I'm going to say R.I.P. to Sam. Uh, Sam. Samantha Rogers. Now, uh, I, I mentioned Sam a few times on this podcast. That was Sam of Steady Rock and Ent- Entertainment, who was providing some of the music that you hear in the podcast intros. And um, we lost her due, due to some health complications. Uh, young lady, younger than me, you know, and we already know I'm the, I'm the fucking youngest old man on the planet. And, um, and uh, I'm just... It's, it's just real rough to say that right now, and I'm saying it with a straight face, uh, because that's just the kind of fucking guy I am. You know what I mean? You're just not gonna catch me out here, really getting emotional or really crying or nothing like that. But that's just me. This is not to say that I don't care, or I don't want to care, you know. But whereas other people might think that it's sad, I just think that it's really fucked up. You know what I'm saying? We sh- wasn't supposed to be talking like that for another fucking. 30 years, at least, you know, but R.I.P. to Sam, we're going to, and and we're just going to move the podcast forward, because we don't want to wallow in my sorrows, all right, it's not even ours, it's me, you understand, and you don't need to do nothing to cheer me up, I'm cheered as fuck, okay, you know why, because everybody's, everybody's home, all right, there's been a lot of people leaving me the fuck alone in one way or another, Well, well, just, as far as being face to face, person to person, and I'm enjoying this. Okay, and what is everybody else doing? They're at home on the fucking internet, and and that's just where we live now. You feel me? Going to put this podcast on the internet? I should be podcasting more. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that. I might give you two this week. I think I'm going to do that because fuck this. Everybody's on the internet. 
Let's let's live on the internet. You know, having virtual dance fucking parties, right? Fuck that. Fuck that. You feel me? I want to go to a party and I want to dance. I want to get on some cheeks some of, of, a, of a strange woman. You know, like I like, like I like to fucking do. You know, and, that, and and like if you already know the cheeks and you have to invite them to your house to have virtual fucking DJ on there. That's so trash. So trash. But it's also cool, but it's definitely still trash. Okay. I need fucking strangers. Uh, and what, what else is everybody doing? They on goddamn TikTok. <laughs> right? Now, when I first saw this, this is it was it was looking like a fucking kids app, you know? It was just kids bop certified. Fucking TikTok, but it, but but I but I think it might be the fucking the new Wild West. It's, it might be lawless on there. I'm gonna check it out myself. We're gonna see if we can get some TikToks going. If you have to do cute shit on there, I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it. But if I could give you you know little video snippets of me and my shit and nobody bothers me, well maybe everybody bothers me, but they just don't shut my account down. Then fine, you know let's do a fucking TikTok. That's how I feel. So we're gonna look into that. You know who's on TikTok? Motherfucking Anthony Highland, man. If if you don't already know, you know, shout to him and um check him out on TikTok. I speak one nine zero six. I speak one nine zero six. That's the name. And if you thought there was gonna be a, a more original name than that, then you obviously haven't been listening to this podcast at all. Okay, and and you know we usually do Highland High. We're not gonna do that right now. Uh, he's he's getting his shit together for TikTok, you know, and, and moving over to that platform. He's got a lot of things going on on there, and um, quite frankly, I haven't moved to that platform, so I can't even check it and give it to you. Um, uh, so fuck that shit. You know what I mean? We're not gonna do that. Ben, I haven't been keeping up with him because you know my own life is very important right now, and fuck everybody mostly. So what, whatever the fuck's going on with Ben, I don't know. Probably got some shit out there right now. I don't fucking know. Fuck that shit. Why? Coming in hot, boy. Coming in fucking hot. All right. So what we're gonna focus on is getting the fucking Rehub TikTok on. Now I don't know how to make a TikTok. I'll tell you that right now. I have no idea what goes into that shit. Uh, you download the app and then I don't know after that. You feel me? I really don't even want to do it. Because it's just the stuff that's on there that's just, just, just seems so trash. The only thing I've really, really seen on there was when Big Drip dropped. And there was a bunch of uh, the whites, man. The children. Just trying to teach people how to get cuzzed up to Big Drip. And it was just so heartbreaking. <laughs> Now, now I'm not the one, you know what I'm saying, always sparking and and prolonging race related issues. Now, that's not me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like people should be living together, understanding what each other's issues are and 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 kind of working with them and moving past them and it's fine, you know what I'm saying? But when I seen these kids trying to show I guess they fucking friends how to get cuzzed up on TikTok, that broke my heart. Okay, and shout to every cuz out there, you know what I'm saying, who's getting lit right now because cuz is up right now as far as rap is concerned, you know. So shout out to it. And um, and on that note, it's a sh- sh- shout out to the local cuz. I mean, R.I.P. to the local cuz. That's um, Pop Smoke. I don't even know if I was podcasting when Pop Smoke got hit. Gosh, it's been a while. A lot of things happened on the planet. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. to the local cuz. Pop Smoke, man. Uh, just a whole lot of whole lot of action on the planet right now, and um, I've just been thinking about what the hell I'm gonna do on TikTok when I when I get on there, you know, because I'm gonna drop the fucking truth on you guys. You know that. You know I'm gonna do that, but I don't even know if TikTok is the place for truth. Okay, is is it the place for truth? I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. And what would I do? Would I? I'm just gonna do this right here, probably. Do I do I do little snippets of the podcast and put them on there, or I could do some live shit. You know, I could do some live shit and just let you know what I'm thinking at at the moment. 
you know, at the moment. Maybe there could be a weekly uh, TikTok, too. And you could get a piece of that action. Or maybe more than weekly, whatever I feel like, you know. You just check in when you check in. Because it ain't got to be long, right? Fuck it. Just do it. I, if When some shit happens to me, I'm just, I'm gonna, it's going to go down TikTok style. I mean, I hate, I hate that, though. I hate fucking social media in in public, man. It's weird. It feels weird to me. If it doesn't feel weird to you, you're part of the problem. All right? You're a fucking weirdo. Know that about yourself. Know that about your life. Ugh. And I'm telling you that about yourself. Why? Coming in fucking hot. Coming in fucking hot. Okay, so again, R.I.P. Sam, R.I.P. Pop Smoke. Fuck TikTok, but we're going to do it, though. But fuck TikTok. And, and, and what I really got to talk to you guys about is the same thing that everybody's talking to you guys about. We already know, and I got to say the word on here, coronavirus, 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 COVID fucking 19. Okay, this is what's changing the world, changing our lives right now. Okay, a lot of businesses are shutting down. People losing their jobs. I've been I've been in in New York, uh, heavy in Midtown, and the things I'm seeing, man, tsh, fuck shit, fuck shit, real talk. You know, businesses are closing for good, shutting down, not temporary. You know, cause they're missing weeks and weeks and weeks of money, man, and that rent ain't no joke. You know, let me tell you something about business that you might not know. You know, Black Friday. Black Friday, just, you know, the understanding of Black Friday, allegedly. You know, and, and if you don't know, uh, there are two basic designations or understandings of your cash position in your business. And that's if you're in the red or in the black. Red means negative. You know, that means you ain't doing too good. You're spending more money than you're making. You know, the black is positive. Okay, hence the name of Black Friday. This is, this is a seasonal understanding of a, up, a, a, a surge in revenue that gets a lot of companies from operating in the red for a good portion of the year back into the black. Okay, and that's how it really is behind the scenes running a business. You're taking a lot of L's sometimes. And, and, or, or you come in, you sliding home, you know, even. Breaking even. It's not all money, 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 piling on money, money, money. You know, some of these people was getting by, you know, by, by, by a slim margin. You know, and, a, and an L for a couple of weeks, that, that'll, that'll drive it home, baby. Done and done. X'd out. So you know what the fuck's going on in Midtown? It's a fucking thriller video. All right? The creepies and the zombies is out. The crazies is flourishing. 24-7 now. You know why? Ain't nobody on the street to keep them motherfuckers in line. All right? So the crazies is out. The hobos is out. The nutsos is out. The schizos is out. And they run in the streets. You know, light, light animals. There's not even that many animals. Where did the animals go? I don't even know. It's usually squirrels and pigeons running up and down New York. I ain't seen them boys in a while. That's what it's looking like right now. The crazies is running the streets right now. You know, and it's, it's homeless people laying all over everything. You know why? Because everything's closed. There's nobody there telling them to get from around there. They taking every crevice, nook and cranny and cozy space and laying up in it, baby. They own the street right now. There's rats jumping up on a platform in the subway. You know why? Ain't no people walking. So they just they just cruising the whole thing. They they want it. They want the whole the whole building. You know, it's their room now. They got it. And this is not me exaggerating or trying to paint this uh, ap apocalyptic picture of what's happening. This is this is just a nuance. You know, in in relation to, the, the, you know, the actions that we've that we've taken. Uh, in order to to keep ourselves safe. You know what I mean? But nobody's talking about this. You know what I'm saying? It's homeless people out here getting aggressive too. Why? There's not enough people to panhandle too. They hungry. 
and they losing it, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm and I'm still fake essential, you know. So I go to work, and uh, my my like my my foremost concern is not even the virus. You know, it's 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 the crazies. You know what I mean? I gotta I gotta move around with my guard up, cause the crazies is out. They 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 run in the streets. You know what I mean? He's gonna get lawless out here if this continues too 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 much longer. You know, but enough of fucking that. You heard my my speaker uh, turn off. Let's turn it back on because we gotta um, we gotta fuck with um, the fly shit right now. What we are gonna do is we're gonna do cancel Carson. Cancel Carson is my my cousin right here. Shout to shout to Kiona. Shout to Kiona. She telling me to send my shit to her. I'm fucking around. I gotta tell her my form. Right after this podcast. Got you. I got you. You fake on the podcast right now via via text. Alright. Uh, and I'm just texting all the motherfuckers on the on the on the podcast. You know what I mean? Because fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. And um let's let's fucking get into it. Get into fucking cancel Carson. They talking about nudes or nah, whether you should send nudes or you shouldn't. Uh hold on. Let me I mean I'm get I'm 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 just getting my life together right now on the fucking podcast because fuck everything. It's lawless now. You feel me? I'm mad about things. Uh, people are probably mad at me Fuck it You know what I mean You guys are probably mad at me Maybe Maybe not Don't know Don't care You feel me Alright let's do that Bet So let's talk cancel Carson They're talking about nudes or nah It's gonna be making your ears bleed You already know how the shit goes uh, Let's see what the fuck they're talking about You know what I'm saying um so episode seven what is it about apparently it's episode seven episode seven is nudes nudes or not nudes or not like are you sending the news or are you not you you know they had to say it how do we navigate this situation look okay so before we get started let me tell you so i had a guy i used to talk to right Okay. okay And me, I've sent news before. I've recorded videos, sex tapes. Like, se- like sexual videos? Like, like, sexual videos, yes. Like, have it. Whole yeah, lot of, so okay. whole lot of action. Okay. It's on video. Whole yeah. lot of action. I've done it before. Like, with a tripod, or is he holding <laughs> Like, full-blown production. <laughs> <laughs> Not full-blown production, but he's holding the phone. Or funny, huh? Somewhere. Fucking okay. funny, huh? Tell me why. So, we haven't talked in a while. And recently, funny. recently or the past? It's not recently. Oh, wow. actually, recently he has don't, sent me. Don't do a whole video um, production of you fucking. A don't video, do it. one of our sex tapes. See, and he well, said, "This is why I'm sure this gets weird." I haven't talked to him in a while. Sure, this okay. gets and weird. And he sent the video and was like, "I'm deleting these out of my phone. I didn't know if you wanted to have them or not." <laughs> <laughs> Look, nigga. Okay, number one, you're, you're lying. I'm I mean, not lying. I'm dead ass serious. I don't feel like it was an issue with that. That didn't. That didn't get weird. We'll get into that. First of all, you kept how is you're sending them to me. You're supposed to keep them. They yours. We're done talking. Well, yeah, he did do a little we're bitch move with the delete, talking. with the delete it's not, thing. I want you like your grandma. It's yeah, like, I know. my ass is in the air. You're asking me you're, about and you're picture. right. Yeah, he, he, he did do it. He did do. Point? Okay, I feel. I feel that he did do a little creepy. That's weird ass shit. So let's. I want to talk about nudes. Like, all right, we're gonna talk about how that could have went smoother when this when this is over. Okay, I have done that. Um. Okay, like what else? I would love to say, you know, like oh, I'm only sitting. Chicks talk about shit like this is just fucking funny. <laughs> it's kind of been like one of those things where it's you like, hear all the fucking giggles. Like, I mean, come on, bro. Like, right. You ass is ass. ass is we ass. know what it's about. Mine's just great. Ass is yeah. ass, yeah. but, but mine's, mine's just great. Mine's oh, amazing. Yeah, so, amazing. You know, I mean, obviously, I have to be feeling whole lot of gang shit. Right you're dropping them to random Anybody, people. Yeah. Yeah. Whole lot of gang shit. Hey, what's the ass? Hey. <laughs> All right, the, no, the gibble but, um, capacity is way too high. I'm fucking, mm-hmm. I'm dying. You know what I do before I send any nude? Please, ever? please tell us. <laughs> before I send any nude, so I have two really 
really great friends. Don't do and, that. It, and people who know me know these two well, people. Well, it's chicks, okay. man. Um, and fuck, like man. they're literally like my soul sisters. Mm-hmm. And so we have this group chat. <laughs> okay. All right, I can't and take too much more of this. Every time I send a nude, I send the nudes Sis, to them. Is this it? Yeah. Like, can I send this right like, now? I literally send nudes to them uh-huh. before I send okay. them to like the guy. And sometimes like if I don't have like a guy that I'm- All right, don't care about what happens sometimes. Okay, fuck, fuck it. We, we did all we could uh, with that. Wow. And let's turn this off. Like, can I figure out a quieter way to do that? Probably not. Because this is what it is. Fuck it, you know. But, um, wow. The difference between, the, between guys and gals is, is shit like that. You know, like, as a as a dude, which I am, I ain't never sent my meat to no, to no guy, you know. I'm just not going to do it. I don't feel like there's a good reason to. Uh, I don't feel like I want to, as a matter of fact. Uh, and that's that's part of life that, guys, ju- you just got to figure it out on your own at that point. <laughs> because imagine that. Like, what is that? Asking a, a, another guy for fucking dicture. Uh uh pointers you know that even sounds bad you know what i'm saying like what am i gonna ask you know how do i show my meat look man you're just gonna get this slap however however it pop out is however it's gonna be you know what i'm saying if it's good it's good if it ain't it ain't it's just gonna be what it is it's gonna be the same thing you got in person see i'm not i, I see you see what people do Everything is, is catfish. Ever since catfish came out, everything's catfish. You feel me? They figure out how to take the, the pictures. They figure out how to get the angles. They're even doing it with their junk, okay? Make your junk look good. Look, it's it's a junk, you know? It's guy junk. That's what it's going to be if you're getting it from me. It's going to be guy junk, you know? I don't know if my junk looks unique or anything like that, or I, I certainly don't know if there's any part of it <laughs> that I would like to particularly show off like is there if there's the good side i don't fucking know i don't know uh i never asked a woman about my junk itself like wh- about what does it look like or how or how is how does it look or or you know nothing like that because because real talk once you put your p in the v that's it it's you only got one <laughs> you only got the one so it doesn't matter what it looks like or how it it's supposed to be or nothing like that. You only get the one and you can't change it. So the opinion just doesn't matter. You know, at least to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because what, what is it going to be? If my junk's crooked, you know what I'm saying? And I asked Shorty about my junk. Hey, snipe a picture. Ching. Send it to us. Uh, what you think about that? And she say, eh, it's a little crooked. Okay, what, what am I going to do right there? What's my next step? Exactly. Exactly. You only get the fucking one. You know, there's no more. There's no, there's no switch up. <laughs> there's no fixing. There's no correcting. Okay, just keep it clean and presentable. And um, hopefully you know how to use it. And that'll and that'll just be what it is. You feel me? Cause I, can you imagine a guy sending a chick his meat, and she says an opinion about it, and his feelings get hurt? Fuck no. Fuck no. You you cannot hurt my feelings about my meat. And I'm tell you again because you only get the one. There's no fixing it. You know, I didn't do it wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If a chick gives you an opinion about your meat and it's, and it's not a favorable opinion, if your meat's not wrong, you know, she just doesn't like it. And that's fine. That's okay. You know what I mean? Or maybe you don't know what I mean. You know what I mean? Nope, podcast time, bro. Shout out to Frog. That's him knocking around. Trying to trying to get down here and, and, and do stuff. And he needs to stay upstairs. Okay? Tell you right now, that guy. That guy comes into my space and he starts talking shit about 
what I am and am not and should be doing around here. Fuck him. All right? Said that shit, and he's ugly. Shout to him, though. You know what I'm saying? And I got to go to work. I got to go be essential again. You know, when you listen to this podcast on fucking Monday, <clears throat> I'm going to be already being essential probably, maybe. Who knows? You know, fake essential. But I definitely got to cut back, man, because I keep thinking I don't want the rabies. You know, that's all I'm really thinking. Now, the virus is one thing. OK, if you're going to get the virus, you're just going to get the virus. OK, because let me tell you something. All of this stuff that we're doing, of course, they say flatten the curve and it mitigates the, uh, you know, the spread. And I get all of that. But more than likely, we're just going to get it in our homes. You know why? Because you breathe in your house, right? Yeah, when you're in your house, you can breathe. Are you manufacturing oxygen in your home? No, you're not. You know where, where that air comes from? It comes from outside, guy. You know? And you know where the coronavirus is at? It's outside, guy. All right? So good luck. Roll the dice on it. You know? And, then, and, and just let it be what it is. Let it be what it is. So that's that's not my concern because that's just, you know... A toss up. What's not a toss up is the the rabies crazies. You know, f- feeling empowered and fucking biting me or something. I don't want to get b- bit by the crazies. That's that's my real concern. Because the crazies is out like you wouldn't believe. You know, there was a guy. There was a guy. Eight o'clock in the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning, yo. He's on a train. I got a little, I had, I, shit, I got a little, I had a little video action of it. You might be able to hear it. Shoot. You know, because I'm a liar. I'm tell you that right now. Everybody, everybody, when I describe my life to people, they really do think that I'm a liar. Okay. And we, 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 what we're going to see right now is um, me. Well, I'm going to see if you can hear it. I don't know because I was on a train. And I was kind of trying to record this guy. He was he was just yelling about all kind of stuff, running down his whole M.O. and talking about... First, he started off saying repent. A few people have been doing that. Repent, you know, with the whole Jesus Christ thing, the end of times, the end of days and things. And they got food in, the, in their belly and they riding on a subway train. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like the end of days to me. All right, fine. Uh, he started off like that, I think. And then he just moved into just really blasting off on... Hispanic people, I think maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody Hispanic played him while he was on the train. That that moment, you know, about uh, Hispanic and black people, the relationship between them. He's tweaking over that. And then um, he just got into his whole biography at one point about how he tried to kill his whole family because they all on that Illuminati shit. His words. All right, let's see if we can, let's see if you can hear it. I hope you can hear that. I hope you can hear that. You know, that big sound is the train. Like, it just has a sound to it when it's moving, so. And I'm, and I'm kind of tucking the phone, so sometimes I cover it and muffles a little bit. Eyelashes. Now I, I I agree with him there. <laughs> so maybe he wasn't hundred percent rabies. You can hear him. I hope you can fucking hear him. He got loud. He was getting closer to me. Let that man preach. Preach. <laughs> preach. You can't tell me New York City is not holy, man. You get a sermon everywhere you go. 
Can't really hear him now. The train really got went fast. It really kicked up. It went fast. So all you're hearing is train right now. Unfortunately. Yeah. You talking something about a bum bitch. There you go. There you go. Preach. Preach. <laughs> you full of trickery. Preach. I'm not a civilian. I'm a criminal. Preach. Sermon. Sermon. He say go on his phone right now and show you. The way he do selfie cam when he get live on the police. Wow man. Wow man. Wild man. Ah, oh, I hope y'all can hear this. Alright, that was it. All right, and that's and that's my experience, you know, up close and personal. This guy's wilding out, tweaking out like that, saying stuff like that. Like, all right, I get it. You know what I'm saying? It happens. You feel me? But it's just happening more and more and more. You know what I mean? To the point where, you know, I mean, like, I'm not walking out of my house shaking in my boots, but I'm just saying, if I, if I ain't got to be around all that, then just don't. You know, don't do it. It's not worth it because that's the first thing I'm gonna be thinking if I if I get bit by the by the rabies uh, crazies, I'm gonna be like, damn, should have stayed home. It's not worth it. You know what I mean? And that's true. That's true before you get bit by the rabies crazies. You know what I'm saying? And that's the one thing that's just making me even more mad. Like, what, like, like, what? Why is this happening? Okay, why is this happening? And it's just making me mad. Ah, guys, 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 sometimes you just got to breathe out and you got to calm down and you got to woosa, you know, like they say. And you have to remind yourself that you are in the in the trust tree and the friendliness at the fucking zoo. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you right now, I just thought of something. Uh, because I'm talking, you know, and that's the power of words, all right? That's the power of this cult, all right? Join my cult. It's Rehu B on everything. You can now Google Rehu B and all of my stuff comes up because it's a unique name, unlike I Speak 1906. I Speak 1906. It, that's not the name of our podcast, you know? It's Rehu B, Ridiculous Human Beings, all right? It's unique. So if you Google that, you get all my stuff, you know, and you can just be part of this cult. Please do it. And then, uh, like I said, the one thing I just thought of is that I haven't answered how was your weekend in three weeks. Why? Not seeing mooks. All right? There's nobody asking stupid questions because there's nobody around. And, 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 and I feel great about that. Okay, haven't answered how was your day. Haven't answered that. And I feel wonderful about that. Okay, what I have done, I've gone to the liquor store and it's always people in there. You know why? Because we're just going to get drunk. When As the world crumbles, we're just going to get more and more drunk. And, and then on that note, check on your close friends, all right? The drinking and smoking actions getting out of control. People are at home. They don't know what to do with themselves. They're just wild, wallowing in their indulgences. Check on your peoples who drink and smoke. All right. Make sure they're not drinking and smoking themselves into a coma or casket. And that's today's public service announcement. Okay. And if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're not trying to check on your close friends, you're part of the problem. Okay.
And the fact that I have to be saying cute shit like this and, and, and other people aren't making me mad, okay? If, if ever I have to be the voice of reason, we have gotten out of control, okay? Who designated you the voice of reason, rude? Nobody. Well, fuck you. If you're the guy thinking that, or gal, okay? I'm saying a thing right now. And if I got to be the guy saying the thing, we've gotten far out of control. All right, and I just can't, and then with that, I can't wait to get on TikTok because I just want to get on TikTok and tell people, fuck them, you know, because they get real cute on TikTok and they get real sensitive on there for whatever reason. I don't know why. All right, and I really want to see how sensitive that crowd is, and I'm just going to tell them some real shit, like, fuck them, okay? Maybe, maybe I'll just only give relationship advice on TikTok. You know, because I was explaining to one of my guys recently why your woman has to be barefoot in the kitchen. Okay, if you use a woman, you want to make me some din din, I prefer that you did it barefoot. And I'll tell you why, it's science. Okay, because uh, what they do when you have a baby, all right? When the lady has a baby, lady shits the baby out. Uh, they give they give the baby to the mom, you know, and they and they they say a thing about skin to skin contact, right? Like there's a there's a uh, just an understanding in that when when the when the baby's skin connects with the mom's skin, uh, if it, it just fosters a bond between them, you know, and we're just gonna we're gonna just believe that that that's a thing, because why not? And it's the same thing with women in the kitchen. Now, if they in the kitchen bare feet, they just get to absorb just all of the energies from all of the appliances and, and all of the foods and everything and just really become one with the kitchen. You just don't want no separation. You want that quote unquote skin to skin. You know what I'm saying? And they just become infused with the inner workings of, of your kitchen. I'm saying if you never had a barefoot woman whoop you up a meal, baby. I'm trying to tell you. That's what it is. That's what we want out of life. That's what's going on in the world. Well, that's what needs to be going on in the world. It stopped going on in the world. I'm not saying you can't go to work and shit. I'm just saying if you if you whipping dindins, take off them slippers. You know what I mean? I don't think there's anything criminal about that. Shouldn't be, at least. You know, I mean, because you are also free to keep your uh, keep, keep your foot coverings on. You know, might get a little bit of heat from me, but I'm not going to stop you from whipping the dindins. I'm just saying that there's a, there's a probability of a heightened uh, dindin experience if you is barefoot. That's it. That's it. You know what I mean? That just that just reminds me. Like if you could, as as bucket naked as you could go, you could get you. You know what I'm saying? Like it just works the best. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying just be having titties in all of the um, all of the dishes. I'm saying wear something comfortable. You know, feel good. Wear something comfortable. Those energies them transfer between the food and you. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's all smooth. Everything just it works out great. And that reminds me, I was watching a show. I finally started watching The Boys. You know, got through a few episodes. Not that that's new or anything, but I just can't watch things. It's hard for me to do. So I was watching the boys, and they had a shorty on there who was supposed to be a hot wing. I'm not going to say who it was. She was supposed to be a hot wing, but she was looking kind of old to me, looking a little wrinkly to me. You know, it was like certain angles was just exposing her. She was looking real chicken neck, real crazy. And um, But she was supposed to be a hot wing on the show, all right? And she has some bucket nackets, uh, some pictures of her, like art, art, art style pictures on the wall. Some bucket nackets, just, just, just in the living room. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't be having bucket nackets in the living room, and then uh, when somebody sees it or comments on it, get shy. Like you can't do that. You just go. You're a full bucket naked 
chick now. You know, if people, if you have just art of you like that, you 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 basically a free for all. Every anytime somebody walks in your house, um. So so she has the bucket neckers on the wall, and the guy and a guy was looking at it, and she said, "You like it? Whoa! When I when I saw that, and I heard her say, "You like it? That um." That kind of shook me because what's the answer to that? <laughs> you know, and if you're a guy and you're saying, duh, the answer is yeah, you're part of the problem, all right? Because you can't be coming out the pocket that strong, except with you, me, on a podcast coming in hot, all right? But that's not what was happening, all right? Boy was looking real stuttery and he did the right thing. He was saying yes, but I mean no, but I mean yes, that's the right thing to do. You know, you got to double dutch on that because uh, yes, it's the right and the wrong answer. You know, which is crazy because that's fully that woman's body and you're fully looking at her, you know, in person. So if you've seen the bucket neck, it's on the painting. You're obviously seeing this when you're looking at her, too, you know, and it's like, what the hell, dude? You feel me? But if a, if a, if a chick got some buckets on the wall, man. And she talked to me, I'm just, I'm going to go left with it. I'm going to do the wrong things. I'm going to say the wrong things. Like, I'm just going to do that because don't do that. <laughs> if you don't want people commenting on your body and things, like, just don't put it in plain sight. All right. I feel like if you put it in plain view, you know, for viewing, which a picture is for viewing. If you hang up a picture, it's for viewing. Uh, who views it? Now, maybe you have some arguments there, but no, it's for viewing. Uh, then I get to have opinions. You know, and if, and if you're going to get stupid when I give opinions, you're part of the problem. Okay. Put your clothes on. It's okay to put your clothes on. It's okay to put your clothes on. Okay. Now, do I enjoy some buckets? Sure, sure, absolutely, as much as the next guy, or maybe not, because the world's creepy right now. Not that it wasn't creepy before, but we just get to see it a lot more because we have more avenues to see it, and mostly I mean the internet, okay? We can watch people get creepy. Does that also in turn make you creepy? Sure, because people are watching To Catch a Predator, and they're looking at it to see that the predator's creepy, but you like people watching people who are creepy, get caught by other people. That's a creepy thing. <laughs> That's a creepy thing. Stay out of it. Stay out of it. Stay out of it. And, and you know what? That that reminds me of... Um, damn, let me see if I can find it. Uh, shout out to my boy Mo. I should have been... I should have been... Um, through, some, through some of this up on there. He got a he got a series called How You Living. And um I, I don't even know where I could find it at right now. Hold on. Um I'm gonna find it. And he was talking about some uh it'd be local too. That's the and that's the wild part. It was it was local uh Brooklyn Smooth on the last one. And he had like some Brooklyn sex party shit. Uh, and let me see if I can find it. Damn. Yeah, I think I found it. There's some Brooklyn sex party shit. Uh, and let's see, you could you could hear this, and it could get it could get wicked. The more the merrier. I like coming to the sex parties because I enjoy sex. <laughs> it's sex affair. The more the merrier. <laughs> Seven girls just lined up, bent over. It's like a whole sex house, you know. People just fucking in the living room. People fucking in the dining room. Couples are eager to participate as well. The man wants to watch his wife get fucked wow. by another guy. Cuckoo. Sex parties. Part two. How you living? All right, y'all go check out how you living <laughs> on or YouTube. H O W. Y O U L I V I N. You just heard that. Okay, he got like a whole documentary style flavor on there about sex parties. Now, whoa, all right. First off, whoa, buddy. 
Not doing it. Not doing it. Me? Not doing it. Okay? Sex is not a party thing. Okay? You can fake it. Like a faking sex with dancing or something. I get that. It's fake. It's not happening. Real live sex in a party setting, in a, a, a real group setting, it's just not a thing. To be very honest with you. Now, I know what you're saying. Nah, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You get the, you get the freaks and they pop off and it's you and your guys and it's you, it's you, you was with the freaks and whatever. Okay, I get it. Okay, you was you was 22. You feel me? When you really get into life, though, it's just not a thing to do. If you if you 30-something and you still popping off in the group setting with the freaks, either A, uh, you you just a fucking millionaire playboy and you've been just living that way for a while. Okay, you can have a pass. Okay, or B, you just didn't have enough sex when you were younger. All right, you fucked up. And I get it when you try to, when you fuck up, you try to fix up, but that's not how you fix it. You just you just have to let that go. Okay, if you if the time is past, the time is past. Make it up one woman at a time. <laughs> okay. It's too much to manage sex in a party setting. Like, let's just not be doing that. It's a whole lot. And if you watch the How You Live in joint, the shorty who was talking about uh, seven chicks lined up and whatever, she was a joint. Okay, if I seen her on the streets, I'd be trying to press it up, not knowing that she's partying, sex partying. Okay? And that makes me angry we all probably just smashing sex party joints why did you say that rude because i'm coming in hard okay i feel like you need to hear it so i said it <laughs> what does this count as does this count as a reaction video how you living sex party reaction video maybe maybe the fuck not who cares okay but i can't pull up in no sex party man what the fuck is that about you know, it's just it's just too many meats. And you maybe whatever you want to call me, you can put all kind of phobia and whatever, you're gonna say I'm immature, or whatever. And and, and 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 it's you who's immature if you think I'm immature. And I'm gonna tell you why, because I I fully have the right not to wanna be in the room with a bunch of meats. Like I fully have that right. It's not my style, it's not something I enjoy. Okay, so if I'm in a room and there's a meat out and and, and I'm acting up. That's not a maturity thing. That's a firm lifestyle choice. Okay? Because I'm going to tell you right now, a guy's allowance, allowance for the number of meats he should see in his life is one. That's his own meat. That's it. You know, of course, you can make some professional allowances, but a lot of guys is just not professional meat seers. Like an, an, under normal circumstances, a heterosexual male should see one meat, generally speaking. And I understand, okay, right, you get, you're going to see it in a movie or a video or whatever. That doesn't count, you know, unless you're actively seeking the meats. I'm just saying... Anything past that one is a lot. I'm not saying that, you know, you got to run dudes down and over about what, 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 you know, what they watching or what they looking at. Like, whatever you want to do, do your thing. Do your creepy life. Run your creep life. Just keep, just keep me out of it. All right. That's one. Two, any meats outside of your one meat is a lot. That's all I'm trying to say. You know, I would prefer it just not be happening. If you had, if you gave me a choice, even if it's my close, close, close mans, you know, and you said, uh, it's two of y'all, I got two broads, y'all can either fuck in the same room or you could get different rooms. I'm going to get different rooms. You know, like the boogeyman is not a thing. I think we can both handle ourselves. Uh, like why, why do you need to be together? We gonna do to hold hands, you know? Like what? I'll see you after the after the fucking show. (laughs) 
And that's how I'm living. You know, and I swear to you, if a shorty pull up on me, if it's my full wife, it could be my full wife, a full wife, if she starts talking sex parties, yo, I'm telling you, you you're gonna see. This is this is me. I dream I dream about this, okay. And I'm not even lying to you. Dream about this, okay? About how hard it's gonna be to divorce a wife. Okay, she's coming in, talking sex party, rude. I know you probably don't, and I know it really well, but sex party, but the, and it's in in the middle of sex party, sex to put. I'm gonna say, well, like it's one word. I want a divorce. That's it. I know you don't, but it's sex but I want a divorce. And then we just stare at each other quietly. You know. And it's like that, that fucking um, these WB shows. Like it be like if, like if we was at the dinner table and it's you know, fork and a knife clanking, clank, clank, clank. Even I know that you probably shouldn't. And sex party, I want a divorce. And I still, and I still eating my food. Clink, 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 clink. And then, and then I stop and just stare at her. You know, and she's looking all ashamed and embarrassed and, and eyes are starting to well up with tears. Right? And then she goes to say a thing, like something defensive or something. But well, if I would have and I just <laughs> And I just say it again. I want a divorce. And then <laughs> you gotta say it faster like that. I want a divorce. And then and, and, and did that upward inflection just raise the tone. I want a divorce. And then just keep eating the food. Clink, 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 clink. Oh. I want a divorce. I think I'm going to just start saying that to women I'm not even married to. You know why? They can't, they can't even get mad at it because we're not married. And I'm not saying I want to break up. I will, I'll yell it loud too. I want a divorce. And if they say, but we're not married, that's when you just stare at them. Like, whatever the fuck they're doing. <laughs> it's all just going to come into perspective. Like, whatever dumb shit you're doing right now, we're not married, stop doing it. <laughs> what a divorce. Oh, gosh. Guys who are not single, if you care about your woman, don't try that. <laughs> don't try it. Okay? But do. But don't. I want a divorce. Okay? And we're talking about divorce and we're not talking about marriage. Why? Coming in hot. Fuck. feeling the way i was feeling a little bit warm when i first started this podcast not so much now cooled off even though i'm coming in hotter i cooled off you know why i'm too hot for the heat so i feel regular you know the heat is feeling me and backing away and that's what I, that's what happens when you're really coming in hot okay and fuck work speaking of uh, we got we got our shirts, man. The shirts I was telling you about in the last podcast. I got a shirt Endeavor going on. They fit great, man. They feel good. It's good quality clothing. Proud of myself. Okay, if you ain't proud of me, proud of myself. Now, the fuck shit though. Goddamn coronavirus. Goddamn coronavirus. Don't know if anybody's gonna ever buy anything ever. You know. So I started this endeavor, and now. Everything's tanking, and I just don't know what people are going to do. You know, I don't know if I should keep resting resources into this endeavor. Because you never know. You might need them. You don't know what's going to happen. And that's how scary life is right now. We just don't know what's going to happen. Served us right, though. We just haven't been afraid of the dark for a long time. 
you know, and this is it. This is that now. This is our version of that coming back to us. The universe letting us know nature is all powerful. Even if this is not natural. Because it's supposed to be the damn uh, Chinese virus, right? Wow. Our president is amazing. You know, you know what I've seen that's crazy? Yo, shout out to Jewish people, man. Let me And let me keep it G with you guys. Now, I've seen a lot of videos of... Uh, and, and saw a lot of reports of Jewish people still congregating uh, amidst the breakout of the T-virus. And, um, and I don't understand it, okay? Now, true to the way that this world works, uh, Jewish people, you don't know very much about us black people. Of course you don't. Nobody does. Because we're not important enough to be, to, to be a part of history for more than 28 to 29 days. Okay, but I know enough about you guys to know that throughout your time on this planet, too many people have blamed you for too many things, and it's still going on. Now, for you guys to now just turn it on its head and disobey the social distancing, giving people full rights to blame the spread of a virus on you, you should be ashamed of yourselves okay we know you guys are smart okay and you we know you guys show an incredible tenacity and we know that you guys values are culturally I mean, that you have culturally sound values, just firm values, because it's, it's stood the test of time. You know, you 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 are new people living in old ways, and it's and it's still working. But go the fuck home. You know, and this is me, a black guy, trying to trying to trying to tell you guys this. All right, because as far as the world is concerned, black people just are doing everything that people shouldn't be doing on this planet. You know. But we're not having the fucking block party during COVID-19, okay? You guys been through way too much, and people just have way too much uh, imaginary ammo that you cannot be giving them real ammo now. Okay, if you're not doing it for yourself, just do it for la raza. I think that means for the race in Spanish. It sounds like made up Spanish. But I don't think it is. And as I adjust myself in this chair right now, you might notice this is a new chair, man. Brand new chair. Should I should I have adjusted it a little bit, maybe? No, I shouldn't have because I forgot I gotta lean forward in order to stay in the mic because when I'm on chairs, I go backwards, my man. I'm going backwards. You know I me, mean? I'm leaning the fuck back and I'm just having one hand on my face like yeah, it's full chill. You feel me like the one hand on the steering wheel type of wave. That's what I do with the chairs. You feel me? And that's what this podcast is, just me in a chair. One hand on the wheel, baby. Podcasts on Mondays, videos on Wednesdays. I might just relax all of that and just start barraging you with a few of everything, you know, in the in the coming weeks. If I can, you know, if they let me finish being fake essential. And I say fake essential for a number of reasons, but um, I don't say that to disparage anybody who's actually essential. Not at all. Talking about me. And I'm wondering, like, what is all of this worth? I'm sure you don't know, because I sure don't know. You know, and 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 the, and the fuck shit about this is, we'll only know when this is over. That's some real true life shit right there. <laughs> We're just gonna do all of it, and we won't know if we did the right thing until everything's over. You know, and whatever we did, we just have to live with it. We just have to fucking deal with it. <laughs> Shout out to it. Let's see how long we can last before we all go crazy. If it hasn't happened already, you know, I think it is an increase in the craziest population. I'll let you guys know 
next week how many people are peeing on things in public. All right, because that's what's going on on the planet right now. It's goddamn lawless. Okay, so again, podcast on Monday, video on Wednesday, or whatever the fuck I feel like. How about that? COVID time. Fuck y'all.